Roll the intro. Alright, there'll be time stamps and chapters on the video player in the description. Uh, I, I want to catch up with you guys real quick. Can I tell you guys how much of a hassle it was to get this microphone standing? Normally I hold the microphone. I got a microphone stand finally. Um, I didn't account for how small it is because of my recording setup, so it's literally right in front of me. But I, I'm sitting on a couch, like, crisscrossed, so, like, I, I couldn't set it up, so it, it's, it's very strange. Everything's, like, right in my face, but anyway. How is everybody doing? How's it all doing? Absolutely wonderful. It's getting really cold now outside, um, which is great because that means that we're closer to Christmas, but at the same time, I, I don't like it being cold. It's just cold, it's rainy, it's icky, and it's nasty. So, we're just gonna have to get through it, I guess. I got something in the mail today, uh, which is really funny. If you know me offline, or rather, if you know me on Twitter, don't say nothing to me. I know what you're gonna say. Hey, if you're always ranting about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they do Mighty Morphin Power Rangers too much. I know. I love Yellow Rangers, I love Trini, I love Aisha, I love Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1. I like season three a lot season two was a little weird but i love yellow rangers so that's why i have this also can i say it's very weird Th this morpher got delayed like a few times i think if i remember correctly hasbro pulse apparently has not even shipped it out i got this from gamestop i ordered it from gamestop and then they shipped it like the day after i ordered it it was like a few days ago i am probably like the second person to review this so we're gonna take a look at it i do have the pink ranger version which is, you can see it right here. We're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna compare them side by side, but we're gonna take a look at this first. I haven't opened it yet. It's a complete unboxing, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Front is really pretty. I love the boxes for these. The Lightning Collection boxes have been getting really good. Um, I, of course, love the artwork that someone drew of like all the helmets to the side, but these are pretty nice too. I like the, the modernized uh, artwork of the Yellow Ranger right there. There's the Lightning Collection logo right there on the side. Not really much, there's a morpher down there. There is Trini or Aisha. It, actually, it's probably just Aisha because this is the movie edition. Um, we'll take a look at that in a second. And in the back, it's just like the Pink Ranger box. It has the stand, it has the coins, it has the lights and stuff like that all in it. Um, and this side, oh, sorry, this side. Wait, what side did I not show? Did I not show something? I don't know, but I, let's just open the thing. So yeah, I have the Pink Ranger Movie Morpher right next to me, and I got it from GameStop for like 20 bucks. They were having a massive clearance on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers stuff specifically, and I was like, you know what, why not? Because I'm not gonna wanna buy this at any point in the future, so I might as well get it now. I like the Movie Edition Morphers. Um, if you remember in the movie, they held their Morpher up with the little belt clasp thing. For some reason, it made it look more unique, I guess. I don't know. I liked it a lot, but I thought it was a very strange choice. There's the base. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the base first. So here's the base. It's just like the one for the Pink Ranger Morpher. Um, there's literally nothing different about it. It's just a hollow black plastic shell. Kind of cheap, but um, it does the job well enough. I wish these had a bit more heft to them. They literally feel like a... Just, just a hollow piece of plastic because it is, but I do wish they had a bit more to them. Um, the stand itself, the morpher just sort of sits in it. It doesn't really dock in anywhere. There's no pins, there's nothing. It just sort of sits in it, so it, it falls over easily. It looks nice and it's, it does the job well, I suppose. Manual, manual, manual. There's the belt clasp right there. Again, I love Yellow Rangers. Um, Partially because of the color, but also because yellow is... Uh, yellow just ends up being my favorite ranger in terms of like the characters too. I don't know why that is, but it, it always seems to fall into place. Uh, <laughs> look at There she go. The little uh, cardboard discs that they decide to include with these for some reason. And then the power coins we're going to put over there. And here we have the power... Oh, I love that. I love that. Look at that. That is pretty. Now, of course, actually, let me just go ahead and put the battery in there. Handy dandy ghost driver. I'm gonna have to kill him. Fortunately, the power morphers take uh, three AAA batteries, just like the ghost driver, so I don't really have too much to worry about. Alrighty, now the batteries are in.
the better. The batteries are in. Now we can take a look at the morpher. Now, just like the Pink Ranger's morpher, um, there's no off switch. I hate that so much. I hate any toy that doesn't come with an off switch. Why would you do that? That that basically makes it to where you know I, I can't really be fiddling around with it if I wanted to, just on a whim because it, it I can't turn it off. It's always going to be making noise and. My morpher is very scuffed now that I'm looking at it. Wow. Look at this. Look, do you guys see that? Look at how scuffed my morpher is. What happened? Like down here, right up here. I hope the camera's picking that up because that is kind of gross. I mean, from a distance, you can't really notice it, but up close, like it's really, I don't like that at all. I only noticed that because my, my pink ranger morpher is not like that. That's kind of shoddy. All right, well, that brings the mood down a little bit. <laughs> Aside from that, I mean, they, they look nice. I love the way these look. I'm glad I got this because I used to own the legacy version that Bandai did, the legacy power morpher. The reason I did away with mine was because I, I didn't like holding it. You know, the, the Bandai Legacy Morphers had uh, die cast. They were made entirely of die cast. So that die cast metal got heavy. So you'd hold it and it, it wouldn't be comfortable to hold in your hands because of the weight. Um, it felt like a collector's edition prop, but in terms of screen accuracy, it also didn't really hold up as well. It was all shiny and stuff, and that's not how the original Morphers were. I don't remember if the Bandai one had an on and off switch. I want to say that it did. I don't remember entirely. Um, also, the coins were, were heavy too. The coins were this really nice metal, which looks nice on a shelf, but like when you're holding a morpher that's entirely die cast and the coins are die cast too, it's it's not fun. Um, but these feel really nice in your hand. Um, they don't have that little button on the back that pops the coin out, so you can't, you're not going to be messing around with it and the coin is just, just going to fly out of the morpher. Sorry, I'm trying to fiddle with, I can't believe how scuffed this is. You can actually, you can kind of see the, is this paint or is this a sticker? It looks like you can see air bubbles of where the sticker wasn't put on properly, but either way, aside from like my own, because this just has to be mine, this can't be like all of them. Aside from my own Morpher's shoddiness, like it looks really nice, just like the Pink Ranger. It looks really nice, it looks really screen accurate, um, and I love it a lot already. So these are going to be the same as the Pink Rangers. I'm probably not gonna even do a review of the Pink Rangers Morpher because it's going to be the same thing essentially. Um, so there is the Triceratops. I'm still going to show all the coins because I haven't done a review of Pink's Morpher. There's Triceratops and on the back there is the Blue Ranger helmet. Very nice. There's the Mastodon right there. And there is Adam's helmet. I love the way these coins look. Um, of course, they have little notches on the top and bottom so that they screw into the morpher without needing that back button to pop them out, but aside from that, they I love the way they look. It's a very nostalgic sort of look. There's the pterodactyl, Kimberly, or cat. There's the helmet right there. And then, of course, Trini and or Aisha. Sabertooth Tiger coin that we will be using in just a second. And there is the helmet. So again, I love Trini, so this is probably gonna be the only morpher that I get from my morphin, aside from the pink one, because I know I got it for 20 bucks. It was a steal. I had to. So what we do is we just take the coin and then we plug it in here, and then we oops, if I can get it right, let's see. And then we twist. Get out. I was holding it upside down. Oops. Let's see. Here. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we're working with. It's more from time. Saber Two Tiger. Saber Two Tiger. Okay. So they, they did get a different voice actress for that. Okay, I heard from someone saying that they had the same voice actress as the last Morpher. I don't know why they said that. Maybe I just misheard it, I don't know. But, um, that's great, okay, so. It's Morphin time! What else we got? Yellow here, let's do this. <laughs> Alrighty. 
So it, it seems like it's just going to be that, the Power Rangers go, we got this, Sabertooth Tiger, Yellow Ranger here, uh, that kind of stuff. So that's fine. I was never really a fan of them adding a voice like that to the Morpher. I wish it was just, you know, a little lightning bolt and then either nothing or just, you know, someone saying the name of the Zord. I, I wish it was that, um, especially considering this is a collector's grade item, having you know, you're, you're messing around with it and you morph and someone else is saying something completely unrelated to what's going on is a little cheesy and not, not my favorite thing, but uh, I, at the very least, again, I'm glad that they got someone else to try and impersonate Aisha for this. It would have been really cool if they had like a, a little setting to where you can have uh, uh, Trini's voice ring out. That would have been really cool. Do doesn't the original Lightning Collection Morpher have like people doing voices of the original cast. I don't remember, um, but yeah, it would have been really nice if we got uh, Trini's voice for this too, even though it is the movie edition version. So we're gonna go ahead and try the other coins in here. Uh, let me take this one out. You just twist. If you use it without any coins in it, it'll do that. It shows the different colors for the other Rangers, which is really nice. Alrighty, so we're gonna use pterodactyl next. Kimberly, time to morph. Kimberly, why is she telling Kimberly it's time to morph? Shouldn't you be morphing too? Mind your business. I would imagine that the original actors would be more than happy to reprise their role for the Morpher, but that's none of my business. Holding the button doesn't do anything. Like even when there's no coin in there, holding the morpher doesn't entirely, it, it doesn't do anything at all, so. Black Ranger, time for action. So are these all just variations of the same thing? There's the dawn, take it away. Essentially. Yeah, it seems like it's all just the Zord name and then the character's name and then cut up to another of the old phrase. And then the ranger color. Okay. So I guess I don't, I don't have to do all of them, uh, like all the phrases. All right, isn't there one more? Rocky, of course. Everyone forgets Rocky, hilarious. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the voice clips, but it looks really nice. I, think, I love the lights in it. The lights are beautiful. Like, I like that. I like when you put a coin in, it just starts radiating that light from the middle. Um, it feels powerful, and I love that a lot. Um, 
here is the belt clasp or holder or whatever. Let's set that in there and there it is. In the movie they would hold it just like that. Someone pointed out, like, how, how do they expect you to hold this on your belt and have it stay? Because this thing is so heavy, it'll just start drooping down. I don't know either, but uh, that's, that's just how it is. And I'm fine with it. I mean, it's just, it's just gonna sit on a, a display stand anyway, so that doesn't really matter. I probably not advise using this for a cosplay because, I mean, that's just asking for trouble. Um, the last thing before we take a look at the stand and then also the, the comparison, um, they give you these cart, I don't know, cord, cardboard, these cardboard uh, cutout discs uh, for some reason if you want to put those on the display stand instead of the coins. I guess, I don't know who does that, someone probably does, but I mean it's just a nice little extra I guess. There's the helmet, and, okay, and then there is a photo of Yellow giving a thumbs up. There's another photo of Kiba Rinja. Not Cuba Ranger, what am I talking about? <laughs> Tiger Ranger. And then there is yellow again. So, pretty cool. Again, I don't know how many times I've said it. I love yellow rangers. And I love Aisha. I love Trini. So, uh, these are cool. I'll probably put them somewhere, I suppose. But right now, I don't, I don't know. And here, here's pink. Because, of course, you know, they, they do it for... Uh, they're going to do it for all of them, essentially. So, there's that. And here is the Pink Rangers Morpher compared to Yellow. As you can see, the exact same uh, idea, the exact same concept, just uh, different colored plastic for the belt holder, both just hollow plastic, the Morpher, just different stickers, and a different soundboard, of course. Other than that, also look at this, look, look, look how clean this Morpher is, look how clean that is. Now look at this one, you see it? That makes me a little unhappy, especially considering this is the one that I actually wanted. And again, on the shelf, it's not going to be visible to that extent, so that's nice at the very least. And here the two of them are. We've got this! You could have at least said the Zord name. Okay, I guess I missed one. I didn't hear that one before. Power Ranger coming at you. Oh, okay, so this has more phrases than I thought were in it. I don't remember hearing that one either. We're more phenomenal. Why am I getting all these new phrases at the end? Tiger. That's what I was looking for. I can't get them both to say the Zord name, but that's, that's fine. Look at the light, oh my gosh. This is like a heavenly light coming on my face. Okay, so let me let me try it uh, with this light coming in. It's Morphin Time. Saber 2 Tiger. It's Morphin Time. All right, well, anyways. But yeah, I, I mean, yeah, all right. Make sure you, you look at your Morpher when it comes in. Uh, let me know uh, what yours ends up looking like. Mine, of course, as I said, was a little shoddy, but uh, it functions exactly as it should, so I can't complain too much. I just wish that the quality control was a little bit better on this. Um, and again, uh, I got mine from GameStop. If you ordered from Hasbro Pulse, I don't know if they're shipping it out now. I don't know if there's like a d delay, but mine is from GameStop online. Um, my store didn't have any in stock, so uh, if you want to find one quick, GameStop has them. There is that. Um, I do have a Common Rider unboxing at some point, like next week, probably in a few days. I don't know, whenever it comes in. Uh, so keep a lookout for that. More Barney stuff is coming. Uh, a lot of stuff are just coming to the channel soon, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. That light is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you guys for boarding my rainbow line. I'll see you guys at the next stop. See you. Thank you to Caitlin. Emilia, Velveteen, Alicia, Andrew, Cameron, Caroline, Gwen, Ian, Junior the Hedgehog, Common J, Megley, Mia T. Toon, Nerdy Disney, Sawyer, 